Yemen is a country located on the Southern Arabian Peninsula, bordering Saudi Arabia to the north and Oman to the northeast. The country has 22 administrative divisions. You're probably wondering why I'm going over this. It's no secret that I love geography, and I frequently incorporate it into the channel. However, this is still a biology-based channel. Don't worry, I'm going somewhere with this. See, the 22nd administrative division is the Socotra Archipelago, one of the world's most biodiverse and unique places. Everybody talks about Madagascar and the Galapagos. Heck, I even made a three-part series on them way back. But I don't see many people talking about these incredible islands. So I figured I'd shine a little light on them. Let's get into it. The Socotra Archipelago consists of four big islands. The big islands are Socotra, Abdelkuri, Samha, and Darsa. The latter two often referred to as Al Alkain, which means the brothers in Arabic. Of course, the main island is Socotra. It's also where nearly all of the archipelago's human population is. It's also where most of the amazing species of the island chain can be found. In fact, the island is home to nearly 700 endemic species. Only places like New Zealand and the Galapagos have more. 37% of the island's plants can only be found on this island. The most notable of them is probably Dracaena cinnabari, the dragon blood tree. The dragon blood tree is known for its striking appearance, with its branches completely exposed from the underside, almost resembling an umbrella. It's also known for its, well, blood, also known as sap, which is red. This red sap is literally known as dragon's blood, and it's used, or has been used, as varnish on furniture, medicine, and in general as a red dye. Ancient Romans often mixed it up with cinnabar. This is probably why the dragon blood tree's name is Dracaena cinnabari. Dracaena because it's in the dragon tree family, and cinnabari because of its ancient link to cinnabar. The dragon blood tree is not the only plant that produces dragon's blood, however. Some plants in the Calamus genus also produce this product, and in fact, most dragon's blood used today comes from Calamus plants. Socotra is home to six endemic bird species, which I will display here in this little slideshow. While these birds are definitely interesting, as a reptile keeper, I'm a little more intrigued by a species I've never heard of prior to doing research for this video. That species is the Socotran chameleon, scientific name Camellio monicus. There is really not much information on them, I just really wanted to highlight this little guy. They're unfortunately near threatened due to overgrazing. From what I could find, they tend to stick to the ground and shift colors between a vibrant green and a more earthy brown tone. They're a relatively smaller chameleon from appearance. I also feel I need to mention the cucumber tree. Not just because of its weird name, okay it's totally because of the weird name, but also because of its uniqueness. It's the only member of its genus, Dendrosiculus, which I hope I pronounced correctly. It is the only member of its family to grow like a tree. Its trunk is very thick with a head of leaves with little flowers nestled in them. Now, on a sad note, every species I mentioned here, with the exception of some of the birds, are unfortunately threatened. Many factors are contributing to this. Overgrazing, human interaction, introduced species, and even more unfortunate, a civil war. That last reason is probably why not many people are talking about these beautiful islands anymore, since they are a part of this conflict, and mentioning any conflict on YouTube is a great way to get your videos demonetized. However, despite the tragedy that is war, these islands, dubbed the jewel of biodiversity in Arabia, deserve to be talked about, even briefly. As a human, living on this planet with my fellow humans, all I can hope for is for peace, and the ensured longevity of these islands and their people. Thank you for watching this video, and until next time, take care.